Hi guys, back with another video on the Pico 4 and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get the Pico motion trackers um, the dev kit specifically to pair up into SteamVR with the new Pico Connect so what I'm going to do here is start off with the basics I'm going to turn the trackers on and they should connect okay so I've got all of this connected now, normally you would launch into Blitz Rhythm and calibrate that way, but what I'm going to show you is how we do this in Steam VR. So, get your trackers all paired up by Bluetooth. I'm going to recenter myself here. I'm going to go into Pico Connect. So, this is the new Pico Connect showing me my desktop. And there's a file we need to change here. So, I'm going to try make this a bit closer. So, hopefully, you can read it a little bit better in recording. I'll move around. So, you're going to need to edit a config file here. And you can need to go to your local disk C or wherever your operating system is, um, users, your username, app data, roaming, and then Pico Connect. And there'll be a file called settings.json. Now, or JSON. Um, and within this file, it is quite simply the body tracking will be false. Just type, delete that, type true, make sure it's got a comma at the end. And Go to file and save and just close that. Now you're all done. So what we're going to do now is move this away. I'm going to launch into Steam VR. Okay, we're in Steam VR and you see I've got some legs. Now, as I've not done any calibration, um, we've missing the overlay here. So that's um been removed from Pico Connects, but if I get this overlay back center, what we can do is go back to home, or you can just go to your library, I suppose. This is the joy of Pico Connect. Go to your motion tracker in your library, and then calibrate from here. And we'll just run through the basics here. So standing still. Hold the squat position. And then raise left leg, put down, right leg, put down. And that's it. So calibration completed. Yeah, you move around. So I'll just click start now. And I can just get rid of this and go back into SteamVR. And I have my legs. That's all it is. Simple as that. So I can show within even Steam Desktop Mirror. It's populating all of the trackers here. As long as you edit the settings file, it will populate these trackers, but to get it calibrated, that is from the standalone side on the um, the normal motion tracker application. So there you go, as simple as that. Have fun. Cheers guys.